Welcome to Coop Scoop Daily, the daily quest for facial hair. I shaved since the last time, so I guess it's not much of a quest anymore. Quest to regrow whatever I had back, I guess. And I am here outside my local KFC, and I have a little story to tell you guys. <laughs> I got a... Uh, I got free KFC for an entire year. So basically how this happened was that there was a KFC nearby me that was doing a grand reopening. And it seems like KFC is taking a note out of Chick-fil-A's book by giving the first 50 customers in line on the date of the grand reopening or the grand opening of a new restaurant, uh, free chicken for an entire year. That's a free $5 fill up box of your choice every week for an entire calendar year. So uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. This KFC also happens to be an A&W as well combined, so don't be here, folks. Stay hydrated. The way just to add, it is super pretty in this KFC. And a major shout out to my boy, the Colonel. Thanks, Colonel, for the good stuff. Honestly, kind of find it funny because the entire time I lived in Florida, I never went to KFC once. So that's like about two years, almost two years without KFC. And then all of a sudden I come back to Utah and uh, I just have a whole year supply, I suppose. Now, obviously with that, with uh, great power must also come great responsibility, which means don't pig out. You ought to work it off. Sometimes you might even have to choose the quote unquote healthier options. I'm just gonna enjoy some chicken today. Hello everyone. This is Coop Scoop Daily Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. I got my $5 fill up, my free $5 fill up here and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. Don't even try to add me on box therapy. This is a legendary unboxing right here. Look at that bag of chicken. I'm full of chicken and side dishes and I hope that helps. Thank you, Colonel Sanders, because it absolutely does. Oh boy. And here we go, check this out. <gasps> free, free. At this point, you might as well call me Coupon Scoop Daily. <laughs> Comedy. Look at this, three napkins, a coveted spork. I really, I'm disappointed that they went back to, well, they're doing these like black sporks now, because back in the day, you'd get like the little pack with the napkins and the wet naps. The wet naps, do you remember those KFC wet naps? They smelled so good. And just to be smooth, they added some butter, and to be sweet, they added some honey. And it looks like the chicken is out of the bag. Get out of here, bag, no one likes you. Is it weird that I always find these boxes so satisfying? I don't know what it is, but it's just like so nice and compact and they just boop, boop, and unveil the holiness, which is the KFC. I don't think you can hear it on the camera, but if you listen closely, you can hear an entire operatic section singing hallelujah as I open this box and unveil this chicken. For those who don't know, this is the $5 fill up box. So like on the regular, it's only five bucks. You get a drink, you get a nice little chuck chip cookie. You have the two pieces of chicken. I opted for the leg and thigh because I love the thighs. Take that as you will. And while we're on the topic of suggested foods, I also got a biscuit because I like me some biscuits and some gravy to, you know, make a mess and pour all over yourself. To be honest with you guys, I've actually never been the biggest fan of KFC. Loved it as a kid. I even used to get those like little laptop meals. Do you remember those? I love that. There was like one time I got like a Bobby's World toy as a kid. Remember Bobby's World? It's just awesome. <laughs> but as I've grown older, I just feel like KFC isn't as good as I remember it being, especially as a kid. So I've actually, like I said, I haven't had KFC in a long time until up until recently. And when I revisited it, it was actually pretty good. Let's see if this is any different. Let's start with the biscuit because it's right there on top. Very nice looking. Just your standard biscuit. There's a little crumb that's like dangling off the edge. I had to get it. But what you have to do is you have to open it up. I don't usually do this, but most people do, so that's why I'm doing it. You gotta open it up. You take a little but butter right here and you just squeeze it on out onto the biscuit. Put that on there, play it in slow motion if you'd like. Now, I definitely actually do not put the honey on there. I respect those who do put the honey on there, but I'm just not much of a honey on a biscuit kind of guy, unless it's like cornbread. But to avoid people pointing it out, telling me I should have, I'm gonna put that on there too. Gonna close that back up. I'm gonna give it a taste. You know what, the honey was better than I expected. That's pretty tasty. I don't think KFC biscuits are as good as Popeye's biscuits. That's my, that might be a controversial opinion, but it's true. I just realized I 
kept my AirPods in the entire time. Helps with editing, but I just honestly forgot they were there. <laughs> that's, that's what they do, right? I swear to God, I'm not flexing either. Do you think a guy eating KFC in front of a camera would be one to flex? Maybe just because it's free KFC. The coveted mashed potatoes and gravy, some people's favorite part of the entire meal. And uh, they come in these reusable containers. If you didn't know, these are reusable. So if you're one to keep, you know, uh, containers and such, keep this. It's reusable. It's microwavable. It's, it's, just do it. Put it somewhere. Stop, stack it up on the top of the shelves or something. And bada do. That actually doesn't look as good as most mashed potatoes because it might be, I don't know. There's a lot of gravy on this side, but a lot more mashed potatoes on this side. And then on top, there really isn't that too much gravy on top, at least not as much as there is on this side. So still enough on the top of the lid though. And you know what people do with that? I feel weird doing that on camera. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Let's try these mashed potatoes and gravy out. It's still good. It's still as good as it ever was when I was a kid. I just want to pour that gravy on everything. I put it on my Rice Krispies, I don't care. I prefer this like over french fries, to be honest with you. It's awesome. Okay, it's time to put on our big boy pants because we're at the main course. The chicken, you don't want to be a chicken. We chicken here on Coop Scoop Daily. We're gonna go in for that thigh piece. <sighs> that looks so tasty. I'm disappointed there is like a space missing right here, like where, I don't know, part of the skin fell off. Skin's, skin's so good. Let's try it. That was mostly skin on that bite, but I don't regret it. Let's get some more chicken. There's a reason I do the original recipe over extra crispy. This is the original, the OG. You gotta pay your respects to the elders. Extra crispy, I don't know how long it's been around, but this is the OG right here. You gotta pay your respects. Extra crispy is tasty, but my preference is this. It's better than I remember it being Maybe just because it was free for me. But hey, I'd pay five bucks for this. Hell, I'll even share with people that I know. And let's not forget, there's even dessert. A fresh, or it's not really fresh. It used to be fresh. KFC used to do these fresh, but now they do it prepackaged. Colonel's chocolate chip cookie. It's tasty. It's not chewy. It's not crispy. It's like in between. It melts in your mouth. And it's tasty. It was a, this would go well with some milk. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up, eat the rest of this. I guess that's today's vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.